वेलकम टू साइंस इनोवेटिव ब्रेन सो गाइस टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज द लीकेज इंडक्टिव इन द ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड वाई इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग इन द ट्रांसफॉर्मर दिस लीकेज इंडक्टिव इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर वाइल डिजाइनिंग अ हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन अ रेजोनेट कन्वर्टर बेस्ड इन्वर्टर then you have to consider this parameter while considering this parameter you can minimize the switching losses in your switching devices this is very very good idea to incorporate in your resonant converter design so practically we will discuss and we will measure how you can measure the step by step leakage inductance in primary side in secondary side and your magnetizing inductance also let us assume we have one transformer model this is the transformer core and it's having primary winding secondary winding whenever you are applying the voltage in primary winding so current will flow ip and this current will produce the flux in the core and some of the flux is not traveling in the core it is coming out to the air like this and main flux is traveling in the core and linking with the secondary coil so i will write this is a phi main and this is leaking and it is not linking with the secondary coil so i will write this is a phi leak this is leak leak and it is not linking the secondary coil so whatever the flux which is not linking with the both the coil that flux is called as a leakage flux so phi leak is nothing but it is also representing as a leakage inductance so this is called also the leakage inductance since it is not linking with the secondary coil also so this flux is leakage flux from primary side whenever you will close the circuit in secondary side or if you connect the load when current will flow in secondary side so what will happen this current also produce a flux inside the winding so what will happen and that some of the flux also not linking and going to the core and it is not linking the primary winding so that is also called leakage flux that is also phi leak secondary side this is also i can call as a primary side so this both flux are leakage flux if you have an lcr meter so with the help of lcr meter we can find out the leakage inductance of the primary side and secondary side also we can find out the magnetizing inductance in primary side so how we can find out so we have to just connect the lcr meter lcr meter inductance capacitance resistance meter in primary side then you just open the secondary terminal then whatever the l value you will find in the meter that is called magnetizing inductance of the transformer and if you short the secondary terminal then you will find the leakage inductance in primary side lp leakage inductance in the primary side 
but if we want to measure in secondary side so in same manner in the same manner we have to connect the lcr meter in secondary winding if this is secondary winding this is primary winding so i have to connect the lcr meter lcr meter then in this condition whenever the second primary terminal is open this lcr meter will find out the value of leakage magnetizing inductance in secondary side this will give magnetizing inductance in secondary side but if you want to do measure the leakage inductance in secondary side l s in secondary side just short the primary terminal then you will get the value of ls leakage inductance in secondary side so in this manner you can find out the leakage inductance of the transformer and magnetizing inductance of the transformer lm magnetizing inductance l s secondary side leakage inductance lp primary side leakage inductance now i will show you with the help of practical i will take one transformer and i will show you how you can find out practically so guys we'll go for the practical this is lcr meter this one type of transformer this is also one type of the transformer this is toroidal based transformer and this is this is actually inductor so i will show how we can find out the leakage inductance of this transformer and magnetizing inductance of the this transformer so i will connect first connect first the primary terminal of the transformer so whenever i will connect primary terminal so i am getting 234.1 micro henry so secondary is open so it is a magnetizing inductance of the transformer primary side now again we have to find out the leakage inductance from the primary side so what i will do i will short the secondary terminal so when i will short the secondary terminal see whenever i short the secondary terminal this showing the leakage inductance approximately 12 micro henry so this is from the primary side now we'll go for the secondary side so i will open this terminal and we'll see in secondary side so i will reverse it and now when i will connect it to secondary terminal with primary open with the primary open so i am getting the leakage inductance magnetizing inductance in secondary winding is 3.94 micro henry now i will check the leakage inductance so what i will do i will short the primary terminal so this is the primary terminal when i am shorting yes see the leakage inductance from secondary side it is zero 0 0 micro henry so it is perfectly coupled now i will open it become as a 3.9 so in this manner you can find out the any transformer leakage inductance and magnetizing inductance now i will show i have one toroidal also so in this toroidal will find out the value so i will connect this winding and this so now if you see the value the value is 3.56 milli henry the leak magnetizing inductance of this winding from primary side let us assume this is the primary so i will refer as a it is a primary side now if we see the leakage inductance what i will do i will short this secondary terminal when i will short the leakage inductance is coming zero because it is perfectly coupled now i open so i will get 3.5 now we'll go for the secondary side what is the leakage inductance and magnetizing inductance so what i will do i will reverse the transformer connection
this transformer is 1 is to 1 approximately 1 is to 1 ratio so it will come same value from both side so 3.56 milli henry this is the magnetizing inductance now i will short the secondary terminal or primary terminal this is this was primary so leakage inductance is 0 0 micro henry so in this manner we can find out the any transformer inductance and leakage inductance and magnetizing inductance even you can find out the inductance value of the any inductor also now we'll check the inductance value of this inductor so what we'll do we'll connect this inductor and we'll see whenever i will connect so this is showing 50.7 micro henry so this inductor value is 50.7 micro henry in this manner we can find out the magnetizing inductance and inductor value using lcr meter let's we wind this secondary winding by using one wire then we will uh, make this is a one transformer so in the transformer secondary is having one terminal one turn so that time also we can find out the leakage now we can find out the leakage re reactance so i made one transformer by using one wire and connecting as a single turn in secondary so if you see now what is the value of inductance magnetizing inductance so magnetizing inductance same 50.7 now i will short the secondary terminal so when i will short the secondary terminal so it is showing the leakage inductance 4.8 micro henry now i open the terminal so it's magnetizing inductance is 50.8 so we can find out any transformer any inductor leakage magnetizing inductance and inductance value i hope you have enjoyed this video lecture and if you have any doubts you can ask me in comment box thank you bye bye